Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. What's up everybody, Son of Beast here, we are back for another NBA 2K22. As for our next matchup, we have you up from here, and this is where we are having a next game on session. What do you think? I think so. We have the Minnesota Timberwolves to face on against the Charlotte Hornets. And for most of the parts of this game, I like to uh, say that this is what the game is always about. For the beginning here, that we finished off in the last game. Sorry that I dosed it off already. It should never happen already, like anybody else. But if, if something's going to happen with this game, I'll never dose it off anyway. <laughs> Of course, of course you will. You might have a lot of them, but don't let this happen again to you. So anyway, let's take a look and see what the lineups are for the Minnesota and Charlotte Hornets. We have D'Angelo Russell, Anthony Edwards, Tarian Prince. He played with the Cleveland Cavaliers, but he decides to do the Timberwolves to be on this team. Then Jared Vanderbilt and Carl Anthony Towns in the center. Still here for this game. He never got transferred to the other team from the other hand. And let's have a look on that Hornet side. We have LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier III, Gordon Hayward, Miles Bridges, and Mason Wumley. He played with the, uh, the other team of Denver Nuggets, but now it's his time to face it on for real. Let's go ahead and get started out at Spectrum Center. Let's get ready for another NBA action. As of right now, we're going to head over to Allie on the sideline and have a look what we have. Allie? Thanks, Brian. Well, it might go without saying that LaMelo Ball grew up in a basketball family at their home in Chino, California. Some intense games with his older brothers were played. LaMelo said, quote, they were serious, slamming into the game. That's where you develop. Hating to lose. Everybody's going hard. I wish I could have seen it, B.A. Always have the game here. Thank you, Ali. And let's have a look at Terry Rozier to fur. This season, it was 18.2, 55%, and the last five games turned out to be just better than this season. Other five games went out terrific for him. Without uh, Graham, he has to see if he can try to face it off without Graham. Here are the look at the starting lineups. The key matchup is D'Angelo Russell against LaMelo Ball in the point guard position. Carl Anthony Towns against Mason Plumlee on the center. Of course, you see the head coach. It's Chris Finch. He's a newer one. I think we're gonna see Chris Finch how well is he coaching so far. Uh, I definitely agree. We might have to look for him and we'll have to keep an eye on him. So we're gonna keep an eye on that one when we get a chance. As we ready to start, we're all fueled up and ready to go. As you can see, Carl Anthony Towns, he has played with a lot of the games after last season they beat against the Milwaukee Bucks. But this season he has to see how well he can try to face it off. So Carl Anthony Towns, he recently got, got lucky at that point. He never lost any games. He has a couple of games so far as he's played it before. But it might be hard for him to keep an eye on. Here's Prince. He was never able to play with Cleveland Cavaliers, but decided to go for Minnesota instead. And a sure shot will be if will be Vanderbilt after assist by uh, Tyreen Prince. He will take his first assist here in this game. Here's Terry Rozier. He's guarded by Anthony A. Edwards for his first draft since 2020. Ball finds Plumlee. Towns on the guard, three to shoot. Plumlee going deep. The shot is off, and that will be rebounded by Edwards. Good solid rebounds on the uh, on Minnesota team. They really have a lot of strength to go for another another player. We might find out. Lost ball. That's good covers on Plumlee. First turnover turned out to be a bounce pass instead of a chest pass. Yes, there is a mistake already. They cannot leave the man without him. 
And Gordon Hayward will take a drive forward the basket. He will take his first bucket here for this game. Here's Russell finds Towns. Back to Russell. Trying to go over Plumley. I mean, Ball, I should say. Here's Russell up to Prince. Screen coming for Edward, for Vanderbilt. He shoots up. Rebounded by Towns. Russell outside. The three pointer is off, and it's rebounded by Hayward. Hayward looking for good money out there. He might have to do it for himself. The shot was off again for Terry Rozier to pick it off. Towns going in the drive, and it's fouled by Plumlee. That'll be the first personal foul on Plumlee. First team foul on Charlie. Look at the drive right there. Carl Anthony Towns, he was taking his drive in a straight basket. When he gets off the lane, he has a lot of trouble. He's trying to pick it up if he wants to go for another big win out there. Two shots are coming up for Carl Anthony Towns. That was the last first game they played against the Milwaukee Bucks. He makes the first shot. And speaking of Carl Anthony Towns, we spotted out that Ennis Cantor, the one from Boston, has now changed into Ennis Freedom after making his uh, convention to make his to confirm the call. Ah, uh, that, yeah, that's totally right. We know that Ennis Freedom has definitely really gotten into use of it after making a Congress and had declared that he likes to pronounce the names differently. And Ennis Cantor said, I really like to change things name. I know lots of people have never changed it before since the last couple seasons from their last names to a different last names. And what do I know? Well, it's because I wanted to change it. And I really would like to know why the fans really want me to be changed as freedom. Vanderbilt up to Edwards. Edwards takes a drive, spills away from Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier with a good block of a save out there. That will be the first turnover out there. Shots goes off on Gordon Hayward with 2.45 remaining. He put the lead and he sent it a bounce. It will be turned over again by Minnesota. Another huge shirt. And we have a look at the NBA ranks. We have 38% average, 26.5. 1.14 was a little bit quite a little bit much by a percentage than they had last couple seasons in this game. Romello Ball on Russell. Prince on Hayward. Taking the drive. Plumley. Ties back Hayward. Oh, and a rejection by Towns. Towns, he has settled up before. He's getting into it right now. He's, he's getting started. Prince outside for three, and that will drain it in for the first three-pointer for Minnesota. Here's Ball. He's covered by Russell here, and we are approaching down to two minutes in the first period. Ball against Russell. He finds over Rogier. Edwards still on him. Finds Hayward. Five to shoot. Screen coming in for Plumley, and that calls an offensive foul. Plumley has received his first and looking for Carl Anthony Towns. His rebound of the game turned out to be 28-19 in season three. Well, yeah, totally uh, how this works. Because this game, Carl Anthony Towns, he definitely helped out his team when he does. And for the most important, how he does it for himself, he keeps an eye on him just how far he gets there. So the first timeout will be called on Minnesota. And if you have not seen the other games, like the rival matchups in between the Sixers and the Celtics, well, they will be back here for next season. I'm thinking, or next two seasons, I'm not sure which one we're going to do. But we're going to keep an eye on that one, just in case. If there's a choice here. And we talked about Tyreen Prince here. He was played. He played with the first part of a game here after being transferred to the Hawks to Brooklyn Nets. He was able to uh, find himself how he can make his management. And with Jared Allen, he says, I am not changing to Minnesota. I am going right to Cleveland to, to stick with them. 
now because they need me for the franchise supporter. So we're going to need to keep this eye on that one here. Thank you very much here. And a new change up is coming in. We have McDaniels. Also another recruiting uh, players here. We have another change up. Reed and Akoji and Michael Beasley. On the other side, four players changing in and out. Washington, Obrey Jr., Martin and Smith on the key. Looks over Reed. Backing over, Russell for three, in the drain he goes. Russell with the first three-pointer. Looking good on that one here, D'Angelo Russell. He has his strength out there. He never played it with the Warriors, but he was able to pick him up with Carl Anthony Towns. He says, no problems here, I got it on my own. Bridges on Russell. He goes up, Russell with the denying shot over the Bridges. Looking good on a solid block shot here. And we're down to under a minute. A Koji looking for a player to open. McDaniels. Beasley inside trying to face it up. Beasley with a shot fake over to McDaniels. Five to shoot. And it lost the ball. It will be Bridges with the turnover on Minnesota once again. Couple fumbles out there. And a lot of changing back in for the Hornets to pick up. Oubre slams a dunk. Oubre Jr. gets his first dunk here from the Hornets. Oubre Jr., he really never knows how to play his game with the Hornets, but he realized how he gets it done. Russell finds McDaniels. Screen coming in for Akoji. McDaniels, no problem on that shot. It will be his first bucket. McDaniels, he has it all alone. He hasn't able to carry it out that boy. What he really needs, well, his no game is trust. And a good shot here for Uber Jr. That's number two in a spot. And Russell will try to half court, but does not make it in time, like Stephen Curry did. So the first quarter has ended 12 to 9. A lot of, uh, lot of plays out there. This might be tough. We'll see if Hornets can come back when we take a break. There's certain times where it's not our decision to not play. Um, there are certain times where guys want to play and the coaching staff and the training staff feels like it's in the team's best interest to not play. You know, there's certain injuries you really can't play with. Gordon Hayward, he has realized for himself that he was his injury has been coming up to return he has a lot of momentum out there to try to figure out what he has to do. But this game never pays it off. So we're back right now as the second quarter comes in. Mifo, there's a lot of strength out there for, for Minnesota and, and the Hornets. What is the strength in between the, uh, those two Hornets? Well, the Hornets of them may have a difficult to make it off the balance out there. And if there is something else that we gotta do, there's a, there's a bunch of coverage that they gotta face it off. I know that Minnesota has never made it to the playoff spot, but they gotta find a way to get back in the game. So as you be being called out here, we have found it out that Reed has picked up his first personal, and it'll be their first team foul on Minnesota. Taking two shots will be for the number Hornets. His first shot will definitely have him come up here in just a long time, and he missed one. And speaking of which here, we have found out at 6.1 second, Philadelphia Sixers could make a win if they beat the Celtics out with a tough score with 89 to 88. Let's see if they can try to pick it up out there. Um, what's your bet? I think the bet is on the Celtics for money bucket. What, what about yours? Uh, I have the money on the Sixers. There might be a solution out there, but you're going to find out what will happen. Okay, I'll keep my secret out there. Rebound by Okoji, and it's... Oh, it's deflected! Martin receiving a deflection out there. What a play on the defender. Martin has a way to make his approval. He knows he is going strong. He got in there. Rebound again by Koji, not the number one I'm picking up. Koji up by Russell. Russell up, 
It's Martin with the steal. That will be number two to pick it up. The shot, it comes off, and it doesn't go in. And with the reporting that the close game is called no shots on Sixers, the final score is 88 to 87. What a close matchup this is. And that's your bet there, Mipho. You got it correct. I knew it. I totally knew I was going to figure it out. Now you got me handling out there. All going to come back to the game no matter as possible. Bridges, what a pass by Smith. And a foul is on a coaching. A second team foul that's picking it up. Try to look at her from here. And now we're making another two shots for Charlotte Hornets to pick it up. As right now, Koji has received his first personal foul out there. He has to be careful and try to pick this one up to make it right. Miles Bridges will go to the two, will shoot two. Never been in the free throw line a lot of ages in his career. He makes his first shot. And here are some couple new changes out here. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Reed. We also have a, a Koji and Vanderbilt checking in. And then the other guy dies on the other side. Ball comes in for uh, for the other players. Hayward and Terry Mogio. He missed the second one, but he only makes one free throws at the same time. Free throw comparison in between Charlotte Hornets and Minnesota. Minnesota stayed on the topic below. Michael Beasley looking for an open man. Free for Prince. Trying to put up a fight on Carl Anthony Towns, but it's Rozier with the rebound. Oh, and the drive. Oh, Terry Rozier slams it across. And they tie it up by 12. You're not going to get this one out there at that point. Terry Rozier seems to be killing outside. He's really trying to pick it all up. We're down to 335. Beastly, three for Edwards. And the first three-pointer for Edwards goes in. Michael Beasley picks up his first assist in this one. Anthony Edwards, he really has gotten into it right now. He really has a lot of more strength. Edwards. Hey, what I meant. Screen on Plumley. Plumley, find Rogier. Back and over. Ball. Trying to make a shot. It's rebounded by Bridges. Looking for an open look. But the shot is off at the nine as Vanderbilt takes a rebounding spill. Vanderbilt over to Edwards. Edwards to Carl Anthony. Towns up. Makes a shot. That will be a number easy two here for Towns. Carl Anthony Towns, he's going for another look out there. He got too easy out there. And you may not want to uh, leave him a man behind. And now the next timeout is called by the Hornets. It'll be their first timeout to go for. As you may have not noticed what there's going to be a lot of complaints about. That New York Rangers has definitely made up another win here. Beating the other team of Philadelphia Flyers. And those teams... That means the Sixers and Flyers lost in the Philadelphia section. I know, everybody's completely disappointed about that one, but there is just one thing that you can't go wrong on. Joel Embiid has definitely returned to the game, but has no confidence about his game that he had just never returned from the game. And what his thoughts? He has a lot more to think about. So we're going to pick it up at another angle here. As ever get some different uh, changes. And now a new change coming in will be for Minnesota as Vanderbilt is checked out. Meanwhile, let's have a look at the Hornets. Three point this season. They are in the lead. Close off here between the Nets and the Bulls. It's 38. Definitely kind of kind of tricky enough, but that's all you need to know. When you're, when you're looking for a LaMelo ball out there, you might have a lot of uh, more strength on him if you're, uh, if you're eyeing on the player. Rozier out for three. Makes the shot! Rozier gets a second three-pointer in the game, and they're down by two. 
Barry Rozier, you've never had a face off one problem out there before. He's like a killer. He's trying to go for another look at the wing. Bounce pass to Edwards. We're left with two minutes to go in the first half. Edwards makes a no problem shot at that ball. Field goals are updated. Only 41 for Minnesota and 35 for the Hornets. Rougier up, makes a two, instead of making the three. And this is what his game has. They, they played against the Chicago Bulls, but they lost with the game. Only 11 points with the game in his season. Minnesota has definitely won against the Sixers here in this game. And another, oh, we got another turnover here. Oh, look out, LaMelo Ball. Oh, what a good close call here by Tyreen Prince. And they turn around the other way. Tyreen Prince, he really has shown it off. I have never seen his fouls, but that's all he has to go for. Looking over, Prince. Three-pointer coming for Beasley, and out goes in there. Michael Beasley makes his first three-pointer. Three-pointer shots for Michael Beasley has definitely got up an insane, incredible run. He has more what he could do. Hayward out for three. Answers back in the other direction. Hayward has really gotten into it. I think he is going to try to face it all for his courage tonight. Prince, right back to Beasley. Looking over, Prince. Prince, Towns, over to Beasley. The screen next. Uh, Oakman, Beasley goes up. Oh, makes the shot before the shot clock expired. Layman was putting up a screen out there trying to help him out. All alone, Hayward, no problem. Close call on the game. And they're up by one. Gordon Hayward, he's all wide open. No man to cover. Prince finding Beasley. Ten seconds to go. Edwards trying to pick it up in there. Layman around. Shot goes off. Hayward with the half court will not count with the shot. That will be the end of the first half. It's 24-23. Close game in this call. But we'll be right back. Let's go over to Allie. Brando, coach, you're hanging in there despite the subpar shooting from your team. What will it take to win this game? Team resilience here. You just got to keep fighting one possession at a time. Find a group with great energy. Uh, you know, we've got to make some shots here. We haven't scored the ball so far this game, but we still got a lot of time. Thank you, coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the... Let's check out the first half in between the team of Hornets and Wolves. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now, holding just a one-point advantage. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? Great work on the glass. Boxing out. That's what they have to do. That's the recipe for success. Check. Let's get your insight on Charlotte. Well, the low turnovers really stood out to me. They didn't get loose with them or make some passes. I was forced to get a nice flow to the offense. Guys knew where to beat them from. That's the heads up style of play they need to bring in the second half. And we're back here at the Spectrum Center with a close game in between Minnesota and the Hornets. With his stop ability, we got a good look in between him, Terry Rozier III. And looks like he hasn't gotten into this point. Only got a good attempt to make the block out of him. Only one rebound. He made 10 shots in this game. Three pointers included. What a game for him. He has a lot of more strength out there. And we'll see how he, well he does for the second half. So we get started off right now. We're glad to have you back. And Minnesota is up and fueled and ready to go for the second half. What a steal by Plumley. Another turnover on Minnesota. And a turnover again on the Hornets. It's the Minnesota ball. And look with his stats. NBA ranks for the Wolves. 17.7 second point. 6.7, 8.8, and 19.7 on a rebounding percentage. Could be good enough for him to try to pick it up. Carl Anthony scoots in. He makes a shot. Anthony Towns, he's smoking up a bit. Smoking up a bit, I should say. 
Crochet to third against Edwards. Three pointer up. It's rebounded by Prince. A lot of a turn it over out there. We gotta see what they got. Russell to Prince. Back to Russell. Russell for three. He missed the shot. Edward Hayward makes the uh, takes a rebound. He will go over. Rozier all alone. No problem. They're tied up now. Rozier the third. He has a lead right in the game. 13 points. No problem. Rozier is picking up his great game on his effort after playing with the last season in season number five. But there might be a chance for him if he wants to pick it off. Anthony Towns going back in. No shots question on Carl Anthony Towns. He keeps it going again. 4.25 to go. Rogier, screen on Plumley. And Rogier, he had a shot. It's Vanderbilt with a block shot. What a good block here, and oh boy, we got another foul. That's going to be a Mason Blumley out there. Yes, it is. It's totally indeed underneath him. So Carl Anthony Towns will go back to the free throw line to shoot two. That will be their first team foul here for the start of the second half. Chris Finch might be showing his offer on this game. But without any questions, he might have to know what he has been um, coaching for his season. Anthony Towns didn't hit the first. And we have some couple new changes here. Now Okoji will take it over from here from Tyreen Prince. And for the Hornets, they will bring Martin back as Lamella Ball will be going to the bench. Couple players are switching. Hayward on the uh, point forward and Smith out there. For Rogier. No. Ebony makes one out of two shots, and Towns has nine points. His game is a lot of offer, but he has gone since the first period in this quarter. He has more strength that he has to keep an eye on. But we're going to need to see what Carl Anthony can do. He doesn't want to get swooped up a bit if he's going to keep an eye, get knocking out. Towns looks Edwards. Koji out. Screen on Anthony Towns. Trying to make a switch out there. Oh no! Koji slammed the dunk already. He goes out there, out of my way. Coming through. Bam! Slamming out there. But Koji, he really gets out of his way. He's just saying he goes right around it. With a big uh, with a big C motion out there. The letter. And with a dunk. He doesn't want to go alone. He wants to go with the flow. Rozier for three. Makes the three. Keeps it alive. Rozier making money for another three-pointer out there. What a play. Okoji. See when you look around. Russell up to Edwards. Back to Russell. Screen. Moving on. Towns. Makes a reverse layup. I will be putting it up for at D'Angelo Russell on another assist. Screen was on him as he got in the way. Hey, we're finding Martin and oh, Towns has knocked the rejection out of his hand. Towns, he keeps it going. Alrighty. But now he has to find himself out. If he wanted to get there in time, from his time. Finds Towns and it's locked away. Rogier finding a look on 2 on 1. Smith up. Good D on a good pickup on, on Russell. The shot goes off, hits the rim. Coochie with the rebound. And with under two minutes to go in the third quarter, it's 33 to 29 as Minnesota is up ahead. Rogier was looking for another season of his run. He's trying to beat the record out there. Could he take 20 out of this game? I don't think he would. I, I think it's hard for him to keep him to keep it locked on. If he if he wants to uh, go for 20 points, all he has to do is keep shooting. Hayward up. 
Getting out of trouble out there. Another rebounding save. Hayward goes up in reverse, and he will pick it up in there. Timeout again will be called on Minnesota with under a minute and a half to play in the third quarter. Have a lot of strength out there. We're going to need to keep it eyes on the prize. New changes are coming in right now as we have Layman back. He was able to pick up his screen as he has a lot of them, and plus the other side of him as well. Reed McDaniels and Michael Beasley, he has made his making this three-pointer, but he is trying to trying to make, make things a little bit tougher now if he wanted to pick it up. Layman, oh wow, what a what a hero step forward with a driving reverse up with the layup, like Kyrie Irving move. Laban, he has gone in here. His first game of the season. Oh, look out below. It's Gordon Hayward with the dunk. And it was Terry Rozier with the assist. A lot of plays. And a block pass. Martin takes it over on Beasley. Oubre in the corner. Rozier inside. Up over Prince. Makes the shot. It's over Reed. And they tied it up by 35. It's Russell now with a big carry. Decided not to go with the screen. Looking over, Beasley. Try to not look open with the three. In and out. Ogier with the rebound. Looking over, up with the shot, and a foul. That calls on Washington, his first loose ball foul, and the block we see here was Carl Anthony Towns by Mobile One Block. Oh, Carl Anthony, I, I don't know what to say about that, but that was definitely the one how played hard from, from Vanderbilt if he was gonna keep an eye on that. But his most courage of this game, He's gotten out there lucky. Russell trying to look at the top clock. Looking for a man to open. Reed coming in. Up at the shot. He makes it in there. And they pick up a lead by two. Third quarter closes off. 37 to 35. A lot of hustling and bustling out there. And uh, Minnesota may want to keep it alive to go from here. Fourth quarter is coming up next. After this one. And with the most game here, let's have a look at the State Farm Assist of a game. And for Minnesota, there's a chance for him to see how it goes. With this play, Carl Anthony Towns. And that's what the play is definitely all about. When you keep an eye on the ball, D'Angelo Russell, who uh, Carl Anthony Towns, this is what he has realized. And his most important thing of the game may have it all. We played three quarters here, but we're right now at the end of the line of the, of the quarter to finish it off. Beasley, he only has five, and he's number five on the back. Still there. Reed. Oh, he slammed that dunk out there. Reed is going to make himself look like uncomfortable from the defensive player. Reed, what is he, this guy up to? He's most... He's kind of like a biggest famous guy out there. I don't think you've never seen from Andre Drummond out there before. Ball for three. Makes it in there. All ball on LaMelo. LaMelo ball. Making a three. He has done his a lot. His most courage. Russell on Beasley. 5-10 to remain in the fourth quarter. Prince in the corner. Beasley for three. Makes it in there. Beasley keeps his eyes open up. Here's another angle look here for Michael Beasley. He was definitely getting close to the line. But what happened is that he got ran over here from the crowd. Right with the shot. And he lost his balance out there. He made a very good shot out there. And for his ball, he's gotten into it. Just how crazy enough for him to keep an eyes on him. From the other target, from the other lane... Hit that, that shot was going to be a little bit off here on the balance out there. Well, his shot for Michael Beasley has gotten into this 
right down here before. And the other lane, we have this LaMelo Ball making a drive. And the bench out scoring points was by 14 in this run. But now Minnesota still up by two in the game. Reed finds Beasley. Beasley has seven points. Eight points, I should say. Five to shoot. Beasley up. Finds Reed with a shot. That makes it in there in time. And Beasley with the assists. Beasley keeps it running, as Reed definitely has in a lot. He makes another one bucket. Oh, short run, and Reed rejects it. Hornets still have the ball. Not for long, the first block was on Reed to pick it all. And now, McDaniels will be summing out. Vanderbilt will come in with Carl Anthony Towns subbing out Reed. Well, we got one game. One block for the Hornets, and one block for the, uh, a couple blocks here for Minnesota. LaMelo Ball making a three out there, a never close one. Russell looking for himself to find an up next position. Screen on Towns. Inside the paint, rejected over by Rozier to third. Looking screen, ball open. Taking a lead, Bridges. Oh, we checked it out. It's Vanderbilt. We have another turnover and a selection here from the Hornets. Vanderbilt, all the teams are like keeping fighting at each other. He's got a good showdown in between Minnesota and North Carolina of the Charlotte Hornets. Beasley in the corner, three to go. Vanderbilt up. He hits off the side of a rim and it goes off. Bridges finds Rogier. Russell on the carry. Making the block. It's Vanderbilt. Makes another rebound. He has six rebounds here to play in this one. Prince over to Russell. Russell. Prince for three. And no shot money made here as it turns out the other way. Tyreen Prince, he's got to keep his eyes on a struggle. He doesn't want to get leaving caught in behind. The leadoff change, Rozier to third. 20 points, timeout taken by Minnesota. And Lomelo Ball, they received up another assist of this game. What a play. And now we're going to make another change up here for the other side. If you haven't catched the last game of the season, you might want to check it out in the playlist section or on the calling card. It's right up there in the corner. Click on that video to, and I'll be taking you in for the third time in a row. Looking it over, we're going to need to make another new change up here. As we're going to pick up a piston snap. Then I will take the take patient on the offense and try to crash the offensive board. Let's have a look right now. Only eight steals picked up on Charlotte Hornets. Turnover was on nine for Minnesota. Six blocks was Minnesota. And it was 14 assists. One assist behind for the Hornets. A lot of rebounding here for the Minnesota. But some of them are trying to get back in. And now let's have a look at the new balance player in the game. This one goes out to D'Angelo Russell. But his most improving player, he really has it all. But he could feel like he had never done before. From season three to five. But this season six, he has a lot of scrimmage to face it off. So we're down left to 2.30 to go. D'Angelo Russell has gotten himself only three. Russell adding another three-pointer to Bucket, and he goes in! Russell keeps the score going, and he gets six in the second half. D'Angelo Russell answers it back out there. He really has gotten a struggle with it. Plumley recovers the ball. Hayward inside, and another good D on Carl Anthony Towns. Edwards, two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Prince finds Edwards. Edwards back to Prince. Up and around, and it goes in. Prince keeps it going out there. He has five in the game. 
Push it here for three. Makes it in! A close-up call from between Rochier and D'Angelo Russell. They are one point behind. While well, the game is still alive, they're trying to pick up a comeback out there. We're looking for another man to score behind the, the scrimmage. Oh, Russell doesn't pick up the fight, but Randerbilt will take his first rebound. I oh, know his seventh rebound of the game. Six to shoot. Edward short doesn't pick it off the carry. Ball. Hayward in the lead. He goes in. Hayward has reached it up with the first three pointer. Hayward has gotten into himself lately, and his team is making it strong. Edward to Russell. And a steal by Rozier. He goes up. Oh, he checked it by D'Angelo Russell. And now they will call a timeout for Minnesota for the last remaining. And 46 seconds is stopped by to try to pick up another changeup from offense. Looking solid out there. It looks like the Hornets are just trying to make the win on an epic move out there. This is a, definitely a showdown in between Minnesota and Charlotte in North Carolina. We're really seeing things going off here. Maybe there's a lot of uh, points that we can get there so far. And I would have bet. Nobody would have had to figure out if there was a game. And when he could do from Terry Rozier, his game has really gotten into it from the extension and really picked it off. And let's try to, let's try to find out what will happen on this one. Right now, only two timeouts for the Hornets and no timeout to go for Minnesota, as that will be occurring here in the fourth quarter. Minnesota has the last possession to try to face it, or second to last. Finding a look, Vanderbilt, Russell in the lead, and no good! Reaches up, Hayward up, short. Hayward, try to look it up in the run. Prince, try to stop in the ball. Five to shoot. Looking for a shot. Rozier doesn't make it in there. Vanderbilt, try to look around. Russell the tie. It goes in! Russell making another sweet moving victory. Next timeout calls on the Hornets with 8.1 seconds to go. Wow, the crowd is stunned. And if, if there's an extension for overtime, then we might have to go for it. We have never seen a regular season here before since season one with the first game in between the Pacers and the Nuggets. That was one that they have done. Right now, only one timeout left to go here, and they're gonna need to try to face him off on a struggle out there to keep the man to mans again. Living out there, keep pushing it up, and we're gonna see what the pick and rolls are up to. Right now, let's try to focus on any players out there. This is it. If the Hornets miss the bucket, then Minnesota may have a chance to go for the win. If they don't, the Hornets will make it, or none of the basket will make it, and we're going to overtime. No changes at this point. It comes in. Hayward. Try to look up on the line. Making a shot. And we're going to overtime. This is the second time in the NBA season in between the teams. Of course, the extension is on. We will be right back with you after this. Overtime is next after this. And we are ready to start up for overtime for the first time since season one of Pacers and Nuggets. Carl Anthony Towns, he is picking up his game to try to face it off. But now, this game comes down to this. 
Who's going to win overtime? We have Terry Rozier. He's trying to face it off. His strength out there. Bridges open. Makes a shot. That goes in there for a number one for Terry Rozier's assist. A lot of gaming out there. He's just working hard like a charm. Anthony Towns to Vanderbilt. Three-pointer Edwards. No shot made. That's 2.30. Under 2.30 to go. Ball. In there. Take it all. LaMelo Ball making a good dunks out there. And now this comes down to Vanderbilt and the other guys. Moved it over and the foul will be up on block for Carl Anthony Towns. With 2.13 to go, Hornets are still in the lead. 55 to 51 is your score. Ball finds Rozier. Oh, he makes a shot. And Rozier would have called a foul on, on Russell. That was very tough for making a call to make a save out there. But that's what happened from this game. Vanderbilt outside. Russell trying to face it back in there. Whips away! Ball has it recovered. And another saving one, Miles Bridges. Lomelo Ball with the assist. And the crowd is a stunning attack to make it wild. Oh, big and deep. Vanderbilt tries it again. Carl Anthony Towns try to look forward into it. Screen finds Prince. And he makes a shot and one. The next foul has bring up on Mason Plumley his fourth personal foul. Another team foul on the Hornets. And he's shooting one. Well, this game's not totally over for uh, Prince. He would have had that Mickey make it lucky with the shot. He wasn't able to pick it up from this game, so he had a chance to go for it. Tyreen Prince, one shot remaining. In the same attack, you can hear the crowd going wild out there. And Prince makes a shot. He has eight in the game. They're down by five. Here's Hayward. Running inside. Ball. Makes a shot. And it's Hayward with an amazing assist. That's number eight. Assist for Ball. 12 points in the game. Finding a look. Anthony Towns. Russell. Back to Towns. Towns looking over. Vanderbilt has it. He finds a good one, and oh, he made it again! They got the bonus up here. Vanderbilt has it all covered, and he's coming back in. I'm coming for you! And wow, looks like the crowd is definitely in stunt mode. Miles Bridges with a foul, and now one shot on Vanderbilt. You can see what his coach is reacting to. He's on the sideline already. He's, James is trying to. Try to warn the guys to, to uh, watch the man from the defender out there. Those teams are definitely a complete shot. And a shot went very late. Hayward in the back up in the three-pointer section. Hayward makes it dry. 17 points, eight in the paint. Edwards finding Russell. Looking over Towns. Inside. Oh, he slams a dunk. Now he picked it up already. And now the first personal foul is on Anthony Edwards, his first. Second team foul on Minnesota. 42.6 to go. Next one is a one on two. And oh, he went over the uh, half court. 35 seconds to go. Try to stop the run out there. Hayward with the three. Makes a shot. Hayward is making his good moment with Crowder even more. Under 30 seconds. Finds Vanderbilt. Easy layup with this score. Down by six to go. And uh oh. Try to let it go, but it's fouled on D'Angelo Russell. 
Both teams have bonuses. 19.4 to go. Both coaches are getting a little bit annoyed. And LaMelo Ball will go for one on two. Hornets are making some good extension out there. Without a loss in between the Pacers, the Wizards, and Miami Heat, they really caught it on. And also with the Chicago Bulls, also as well. They never really caught it on like that happened the, the moment that they never did really exist at that point. So Bulls has gotten a lot of a more uh, bit of experience than the Hornets. Zach Levine, how well he has done. I don't know what he can do, but he's really into a good one. Second to last time out on Minnesota, we're down to 19.4 seconds. And we're talking about this one here before. Hornets are really into a better play in the drive out there. What is the courage for them to keep an eyes on? Uh, we're going to keep an eyes. But my personal, uh, I'm looking for, I'm looking to keep an eyes on uh, one of the guys that uh, could be another good one for this shot. And if there isn't any of our players that are in the open driving in position at all, there might be some uh, solution out there. And for Hornets, I like to see what they have gotten into for this game. And for Minnesota, they have only won a couple games out there. One against the Warriors, one against the Lake. I mean, one against the Bucks. But this one was in completely stunned out there. But that is more what they have done ever than before. So only 19.4 seconds out there. This is quite tough, intense game from the showdown. And for Hornets, they never really caught it on with the two wins this game. Noel, Vanderbilt, lay man up. Vanderbilt finds Bullmorrow. Bullmorrow shot will be off the lane and that will do it. Your final score for tonight in overtime is 68 to 60 in the third game. So without folks and crew, this was like an intense matchup out there in between Minnesota and the Hornets of Charlotte. Let's go to Allie. Allie, take it from here. Gordon, congratulations. As you look to lead this team to sustained success, wins like this have to be encouraging. Yeah, it felt good. Uh, it was a great team win for us. Uh, we came to this one with a lot of focus. It really hard. I think that allowed us to get good shots on the other end. So, uh, well, they're going to be better. They're going to be able to knock down some shots they missed tonight. But good effort by us. Offense starts on defense. Thanks so much. Thank you, as always. thank you so much, Sir Ali, and we like to uh, thank you all for joining us here for the third game of the Hornets and the Wolves. This was like a tough matchup in between. What do you think of this game? I really like. I really love it. This game was definitely intense out there. We really love seeing those players making a uh, full uh, counter strength with this game. So we already know that the New Balance player of the game goes out to D'Angelo Russell. But now it's time for some free. Top three best players on the game. So, we have spelled out that the overtime win has brought them out for this game. But we're going to start here on number three. Let's have a look here for the first one. We saw that Carl Anthony Towns, he makes two blocks, amazing five rebounds, two assists, and also 13 points here, was on 20-minute court. Really haven't paid it off the price. A lot of blocks, one and two, nothing you can't do. And now we're moving up to number two. We go right over to the Hornets. Gordon Hayward, he's reaching up his new height. 20 points and six rebounds. Amazing three assists and only one dunk. Only had never gotten a foul at that point. He's on good track without being injured again to find himself to make him pay. And now, for number one player, we are spotting out the winning of best play in this game, Terry Rozier III, with an incredible three-pointer strength, one rebound, one block, two steals, and three assists. How well could you do here, Terry Rozier III? There might be one, and there might be another one. 
Well, I like to say thank you all, guys, so much for watching for this video. If you haven't checked the last game of the Kings and Warriors, go ahead and go to the next uh, video, previous video here. Um, once the video ends here, I hope everybody's enjoying their Thanksgiving out there. And plus, the holidays of Season of Giving is underway. So you don't want to miss this one out from this game, um, December 25th of the Christmas Day matchups in between your favorite teams from the game. So we love all the support out there and even everyone else of the game at the 75th anniversary. This is Son of Beast and with along with me phone. We like to say peace out to everyone for us a while as a NBA 2K22 dial. Have a good night in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm out of here and if you have missed an Anime Insanity Invitational Go ahead and check a clicking card right over here on my side. The links are in the description. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next battle of the NBA. Take care. Didn't you know? Somebody